Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Lucas, and my assistant here is Dave Booker. We are FSI. Uh, a few years ago, I found uh, someone was selling a rocket motor making machine on Craigslist. I said, what? A Mabel. So um, I went and checked it out, and it was in the garage, or outside the garage, of uh, one of the Reese brothers. There were two of them. Uh, one of them was the old uh, uh, MPC motor machine, the other one was uh, ABI mini, mini, jet. mini jet machine. Anyway, uh, I ended up buying the company off of Craigslist. So, um, I got a pretty good deal on it. Um, it took a while to find a place where we could set up shop uh, and then uh, get everything moved in there. It also included a, a, a a large, rather large, wind tunnel, which we were able to get into the shop. So, long story short, uh, FSI, we're getting just getting ready to, to gear up and start manufacturing. Um, I've got to uh, evict the uh, person that's upstairs because he keeps bringing stuff in the shop and I can't build stuff. Like washing half, machine. Half the shop is taken up with his stuff. Yeah. So. so anyway, he, he's gone uh, by the end of the month, and then uh, uh, we're going to start manufacturing kits again. Which uh, let's have, just pass me one of them. Oh, here we go. The famous all-purpose Megatron. Megatron. That one's missing the payload section. It's flown about ten times now. Yeah, we're testing right now the the models um, to use the available engines today. So. All of these had 27 millimeter rounds. Those are gone. They'll all have uh, 29, 24s, and 18 millimeters to use the engines that are available today. This thing tears on an H motor, trust me. It really does. Anyway, it comes equipped with a 29, you can see. Has a payload section. Um, and I can say some stuff about manufacturing. Most of these have cast nose cones, which I've been making, and some of them work really well, some of them have the raisin effect, and I'm still working on that. However, I am now making a nose cone machine that I can chuck up a bunch of ball, chuck a piece of balsa this big and turn one of those in less than a minute. Pretty easy. It's just the old-fashioned pattern following, four jaw chuck, Dremel tool, and it uh, I'm welding up a box. It's all made with plywood and um, plex. And we're going to be able to make nose cones like nobody's business. We also have a laser. Yes. We haven't figured out how to use it yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's because, well, in Goggles. my case, computers, I'm an old fashioned guy. So. Okay. We, uh, we're going to bring back a majority of the FSI kits, uh, not all of them. Uh, FSI was lacking in a lot of innovation, so we, we plan on changing that. Uh, Especially in design. Uh, and and the, uh, the paint patterns, as an example. This is what the new Sprint design is. It's uh, the paint pattern. Um, and then we have the Oso. I'll show them that, please. This one's nice. It's got the cradle marks. Has, uh, has this interesting roll pattern, but I'm gonna probably come up with some other roll patterns. And uh, I designed all this stuff on the computer, yeah. <laughs> I just can't do the, the right to the laser, I don't know how to do it. One of our partners does, and he hasn't gotten to it yet, so. Uh, well, we probably will be remanufacturing the dart using 29 millimeter booster. Do people know how the dart worked? Yeah. Okay. For those who don't, this fin, these fins were glued right to an F100 black powder motor. And then it was engineered so that the dart upper stage could fit right into it and have like a, uh, what is it, a D20? It's a D20. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what we want to do, because it's a very interesting idea, is try to make a dart with a reusable booster. Probably, maybe, try to get, I'm really good at making 
shoot assisted booster recovery so I might work that out otherwise it fall back and just want to hit your head so uh, we're right now testing uh, like I said with the changes that we're going to have with this so that's why you haven't seen anything come out as a product yet FSI was also uh, they never had any kind of boost glider or anything else you know other rockets that we see today which are which are standard so we're going to have those plus uh, uh right now i've been testing a prototype skill level two slash three rocket glider it's very easy to make takes uh no time at all to, to build it and fly it uh, and so far after uh, two years uh, it's never crashed so it's it's pretty reliable we got uh, a lot of ideas <laughs> well uh, when it comes to the scale models, um, FSI scale kits were good, but they weren't great. Six of them. We are planning on making the best scale models ever. <laughs> now that, that, that's, a, that's a big challenge. Big challenge. Mm -hmm. But seeing some of the stuff that Dave can do, if you've never seen some of his models, it, they're just amazing. By the way, my scale entry for tomorrow I gave up on because I think it was killing me. So 96, 7 degree heat in my studio, my shop. I just, even with air conditioning, it was just getting it to me. So sorry. I really want to enter scale and then there I'm. You'll have to do it next year. <laughs> okay, so uh, to sum all this up, FSI will be having kits. Uh, Some, we don't very, have a lot. But we'll have them out very soon. But uh, you can buy a few this time or you can place orders. I've been selling these myself off of my Facebook page, um, quite a few of them, including two Centuri kits that I've replicated, which are very accurate, including the Orion. Nice, nice. And then the, the Quasar. And I brought both of those to fly on the sport range. So, so uh, does anyone have any questions? Yes, sir. Motors. Ah, that's <laughs> another thing. You bought a motor machine. Right. I have made a bunch Keys. of motors, composites, but the black powder motors, it may be impossible for us to make them because of regulations. However, <laughs> here's here's the, the bright light. There is a bright light. We have several military uh, motor manufacturers in the area that has all of that. They have the, uh, the, the place to store them, the place to make them. We have the equipment for them to use. We're thinking about just subcontracting sub out the motor manufacturing to them. Black powders. For black powder motors. And we have all the goods. You know, we have the motor presses, we have all the blocks, we have everything. All, all the propellant drops, everything. ways of making black powder, which I've been working on doing some experimentation. But the, we also have a superb composite motor machine, propellant machine that uh, when I get it rebuilt, we can uh, produce batches of up to, you know, like 350 G motors. One so let, let me ask you guys this. Uh, would it be worth us to make composite mini engines? Depends on how much. Well, we're not talking about a lot of money, but- We're which, trying to keep the price down. We're trying to keep the prices down. Single uh, use. 21st century, we'll combine. Well, I agree, Doug. Good to see Doug. Frost. Well, we're talking about a, a standard uh, 13 millimeter motor, uh, a B, uh, one that's like maybe a little bit longer, a C motor. Uh, we'd like to make it competitive enough so we can have real competition against the Europeans. Excuse me. One minute. Okay. Uh, so basically, that's where we're at right now. Does anyone else have any questions? I have something to say about small composite motors. Um, you can fit composite propellant into cardboard tubes, but you have to have a proper nozzle. The tube will work fine because actually it functions the same way a liner does um, in an aluminum motor or one that uh, you know heats up a lot. It's just the nozzles. So if we can get a phenolic nozzle machine, which could be hard, or just make a little graphite one. Yeah. You got a lot of graphite. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. we love single-use motors, yeah. too, because that's the old-fashioned way. 
I have some of the first con uh, reloadable motors made, single digit. And I thought, this is it, back then, 1990. Now I hate the things. <laughs> Mostly because I don't ever clean them out. Anyway, thanks. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen.